I am James Walters and I'm going to be doing my presentation on undertaking and reviewing my work placement. So a bit of information on my work placement is I did it at Cheshire Scouts, so it's a voluntary organisation that offers a wide range of activities to help build skills such as teamwork, management skills and self-development and leadership skills. So when I was on placement we had a, a wide range of groups, so we had groups from younger school children uh, from five to ten years old and also team building exercises for Roberts Bakery which were all adults. Uh, there are many different job roles at the centre from activity instructors to site maintenance. We also had we also had centre managers there but my job role was a bit of everything from instructing sessions to site maintenance and prepar preparation for busy groups in the busy season ahead. So my smart targets were to get an understanding of what a day-to-day -day job in the outdoor industry is, to help prepare the centre for the busy season ahead, to comfortably lead sessions on land and water, and to understand how a centre operates and runs with busy bookings. So my aims and objectives were, by the end of my work experience, I'd like to lead water sessions. This is achievable as I already have achieved my level one paddle sports. I will shadow sessions at Tittersworth Water Sports Centre as well as Scouts and I will run an observe session and gather feedback from Tittersworth Water Sports Centre. Another aim and objective is I would like to lead a land activity that I've not led before such as the crane challenge or cave bus and I'm hoping to achieve this as soon as possible as they require an in-house sign off which is not too hard to obtain. Uh, an objective is to identify and choose an activity to lead and also to observe and help run the activity with David. Another one is to understand what working for Cheshire Scouts is about, get an understanding of what a day-to-day -day job in the industry is and also to talk to other employees of Cheshire Scouts and understand what jobs they have to do. So here's some evidence. So here's a picture of me going through a safety brief for the cave bus. So I'm just going through some safety uh, key aspects on the safety, such as emptying pockets, wearing your helmet, and sticking to the course. Here you can see the natural surroundings of the forest camp, which is where Cheshire Scouts is located. As you can see, it's quite a nice scenery. Here you can see the main compound, so this is where we'd meet all our groups before activities, also where we'd meet every morning and also where we would park our cars before work. So we're going to move on to strengths, so I'd say some key strengths of mine were that I would move on to the next job without being asked to, I uh, would also find other bits and pieces and jobs that I'd need working on. Um, another strength would be that I comfortably led a cave bus session and without any help. So areas for improvement would be to organise my timing a little bit more. So with switching over groups, uh, organise that as you need to get them switched over as quickly as possible. Also, just timekeeping skills in general. So, if I left any later than uh, the half eight time mark in the morning, then we'd be stuck in traffic, which happened on a couple of occasions, but most of the time we were okay. Uh, another area for improvement is to just ask if I'm unsure of something. So, if I need something to go through, I'll just ask, and then it'll be a lot easier and I'll know for the future. So my three main targets for future development are to complete my SUP DSM, which I can do through Tittersworth Water Sports Centre, uh, to get a contracted job in the outdoor industry and deliver sessions and obtain more NGBs for the future. So as a summary, I'd like to recommend uh, Cheshire Scouts Forest Camp as it gave me a good insight into what working in the outdoors is like. As well as this, I have a wider understanding of practical knowledge I can use in later life and talking to people that work there were very helpful and gave me more of an understanding of what working in the outdoor industry is like.